Apple has been cranking out some great hardware of late and decided it was time that the iPod got a little love. This week we saw the release of the Nano, the Shuffle, and according to Apple, the best iPod Touch yet. The new Touch boasts some great upgrades and we can't wait to see them up close. It's teardown time. Hi, I'm Gwendolyn with iFixit, and today we're tearing down the brand new iPod Touch. Looking at this iPod Touch, you're not gonna notice much difference. The only thing we noticed were the new model number, A1574, and the removal of the wrist strap peg that used to be in the lower corner. In fact, this iPod has the same dimensions as the previous version, measuring in at 123.4 millimeters high, 58.6 millimeters wide, 6.1 millimeters thick, and weighing just 88 grams. It also has a four inch retina display with a resolution of 1136 by 640 and a pixel density of 326 pixels per inch. Getting into our iPod Touch was very reminiscent of last year's model, however, the adhesive seemed a little more difficult this time around. After we hit it with a little heat and of course our trusty ice clack, we were in. Well, sort of. There were a few clips that we had to free and a big EMI shield preventing us from seeing what was underneath. But our universal four millimeter driver and a Phillips triple zero bit made quick work of all 12 of the screws holding it in place. Finally, we start to see the inner workings of this new touch and it looks pretty much the same. We know there are a few upgrades in here, so we keep digging. After heating and prying, we find out we didn't need to. The new touch has the handy adhesive tabs we've seen in the iPhone. This touch has a 3.83 volt, 3.99 watt hour battery with a rating of 1,043 milliamp hour, as opposed to the 3.7 volt, 3.8 watt hour, 1,030 milliamp hour battery found in the fifth generation touch. Apple claims this battery will give you up to 40 hours of music playback time or eight hours of video time. Next out after the battery is the lightning speaker microphone headphone port assembly, which is still soldered to the logic board. So if any one thing from that long list of parts breaks on you, it means a logic board replacement. Speaking of logic boards, this iPod Touch has gotten some upgrades. The last time we saw an iPod Touch on our teardown table, it came with an A5 processor. This new version has skipped the upgrade line a bit and now has an A8 processor with one gigabyte of LPDDR3 RAM. Interestingly, this A8 has been underclocked to 1.1 gigahertz per core. Other chips of note on the board are a slightly upgraded Wi-Fi Bluetooth board. The iPod Touch now comes with Bluetooth 4.1, a whole 0.1 better than the fifth gen, and 16 gigabytes of Toshiba-made flash storage. With the logic board out, we dug around to find one of the other major upgrades in the new iPod Touch, the rear-facing camera. Gone is the measly five megapixel camera found in the last generation. Now we get an eight megapixel EyeSight camera with an F 2.4 aperture capable of recording 1080p. We've come to the end of our teardown, which means it's time to talk repairability. At iFixit, it's our mission to teach people how to repair everything, so we give every gadget we tear down a repairability score between one and 10. 10 being the easiest to repair and one being the most difficult. The sixth generation iPod Touch scored a four out of 10, and here's why. On the upside, while difficult, opening the case and replacing components is not impossible. And the battery is adhered with pull tabs that should aid battery replacement. But on the downside, many components are soldered together, requiring either a very difficult or a very expensive repair if any one part breaks. There are no external screws. Instead, a combo of clips and adhesive make it difficult to open the case. And finally, ribbon cables connected to the logic board run over the top and connect to the bottom, making it difficult to remove the board or disconnect the cables. For the complete teardown, including tons of beautiful, high quality images, head on over to ifixit.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on all our latest teardowns and repair videos. You can follow us on Twitter at ifixit and give us a like on Facebook at facebook.com slash ifixit.